Hey guys, it's May 2018. I'm getting ready to go on a two-week ride on the bike, leaving from Massachusetts, doing a route west, halfway across New York, south. The general goal is to go to Arkansas. Um, I'm going with a good friend of mine, Rusty. We try not to overplan these things so we can pick and choose our routes along the way, see what the weather looks like, see what the mountains and hills and lakes look like, and figure out where we want to go from day to day. I thought I would do a video to show you what I packed to take with me. We try and camp as much as possible, prefer to camp over a hotel room anytime. Again, a lot of that depends on the weather and sometimes you end up in places where it's really hard to find a camp, but camping is always the goal. So I'll give you a breakdown of what I carry. The Tenere is a mule that can, that can pack a lot of stuff. I don't bring someone on the back seat, so that's a lot of weight I don't have to carry and I make up for it in other areas. First thing I have is a tank bag for my Super Tenere. It's got the, uh, you know, the quick release holder on the bottom that locks onto the bracket on your tank, so it's really easy for popping it off when you want to get gas. Uh, a bunch of stuff I carry in here, pretty basic stuff. Um, lighters, Advil, I got my earplugs. I carry alcohol to clean my earplugs with. I've got lip balm. Uh, repair kit for my eyeglasses bottle opener very important I also carry some uh, windshield cleaner some eye drops allergenic a little bit of sunscreen and I carry a, uh, a headlight which is really handy when you're walking around the camp or when you're in your tent at night I got a small first aid kit and I just got some sticky holders for my GoPro. These tank bags are great. They give you a lot of room. You know, I throw a couple of different sets of gloves in there. I also throw my GoPro camera case in there when, uh, when I'm on the road. It's got a lot of side pockets for other stuff. I carry the rain cover on the front. Good deal, good bag. I've had it for a bunch of years and it's never let me down. Carry maps up on the top. And, uh, you know, it's got the it's got the nice clear map map compartment on the top. So for the Tenere, I've got the hard panniers on each side, and I've also got these bags that uh, fit down inside them. So they're really good if you want to park at night, whether you're camping or you're in the hotel, and you want to just pull that out and carry it in with you without taking the whole case off. I use these packing bags, that uh, these packing cubes that I got on the internet for like 16 bucks for four of them. And I use these, uh, you know, I put my, I put some pants in there, shirts, things like that, things we're gonna need, my heated vest I carry in there. I've got another one with a bunch of t-shirts and underwear and things like that. I got another one where I keep socks and other items I might need, and then a small one for my toiletries bag. Now what's nice about these things is all of that, fits right into this bag and I know what's in each one so I never have to think about where things are for my clothes all of that fits into that bag and that bag fits right down into that pannier closes up nice and tight it's waterproof it's not too too heavy and like I said so that pannier which is going to be on my left I always know my clothes are in there there's only my clothes in there I never have to think about where to look for them or where to go for them when it's time to when it's time to unpack so for my right pannier I carry everything else that I'm going to need for camping for maintenance for staying wherever I got to stay and meeting any need I'm going to have. So this is my tool bag. I carry probably more tools than are necessary, but or I hate the thought of breaking down and not having what I'm going to need. Uh, all the sockets I keep in a separate bag so I don't have to look for them. And then I also carry in this bag, I carry kind of an assortment of extra bolts and screws and washers. I got my handlebar risers in there. You never know when you're going to need a bolt. When I used to ride my KLR around a lot, something was always falling off. 
this is my stove this is an MSR stove and I love this thing this thing comes off it opens up like that it screws right on the top of the gas canister there and then I go even a little bit bigger I've got this tripod thing that the can fits in you screw that on and you got a great compact small little stove it's good in the wind it's good wherever you use it I've got this one pan that I carry that sits right on top of there it's just a little Stanley can and I cook everything in this my wife has made meals in this pan and all of that just to kind of consolidate some of the room this can this gas can fits right inside of that pan and I take my dish towel I put it on the top and that's good to go all the rest of this this stove packs right up in this little plastic container it cools off really quick when you need it and then everything else fits right inside this one little bag and I know when I get to a campground and I gotta dig out my stuff for eating everything is right here I carry this one small case that's got odds and ends in it it's got my first aid kit a clothesline a tent repair kit and it's got you know spare toilet paper in here because you never know when you're gonna need that I carry a couple of ready-to-go meals it's been you know a few times where I pulled into a campsite and it's late and I don't have any food but these things are great you boil some water you throw the water in the bag you let it sit for 20 minutes and I think they're really good I carry my uh, bike cover in here I've got a plate use that for everything I've got this small bag and in here this is one of the luxury items actually a couple of them my iPod and I have this little battery powered fan when you camp in the summertime it, lots of times it gets really hot at night so I have just this little battery fan that I throw in the tent you can hang it up above and you can put it up by your pillow and this will run all night and it's really nice to have I carry a couple of these cheap low shoes with some tread on the bottom they're nice to have when you take your boots off at the end of the day the other thing I carry which I really like is one of these this is a red fuel power hub and this little gadget you plug it in it charges up and I can use this to recharge my fan or my GoPro or my phone or anything and not only that but it also comes believe it or not with jumper cables that thing plugs in and you can use this thing to start your bike if you need it I've used it to start a truck before it works really well and they're like $25 at Walmart they're safe you know they're electrically rated I really like this little product comes in handy if I'm at a hotel room or if the charge is down I'll plug it in at a 7-eleven or something like that just to charge it back up again when you're traveling and you're doing a lot of filming that GoPro will use up all its battery USB port on plug it into your camera and half an hour later your GoPro is fully charged I also carry a cheap small siphon pump in here doesn't take up a lot of room I've been traveling out west in Wyoming and I came places where I really thought I was going to run out of gas it was long stretches between gas stations so I carry this just in case that happens I've got a way some friendly passing motorist could stop and give me a gallon to get me to the next place I've never run out hopefully I never do but it's just a little bit of insurance and I also carry one of those emergency blankets just to have for you never know it doesn't take up a lot of room thing I put in that case that I never travel without is uh, my book of Walt Whitman's selected poetry whether you like poetry or not it's good to have something to read and if you're reading Walt Whitman you're having a good day so everything packs in there again it's locked it's sealed now when I pack these this right pannier is a little bit heavier than the left one probably like five pounds six pounds heavier but on the Tenere the exhaust is on the left and that pipe has got to weigh 10 pounds anyways so I figure I'll put a little more load on the right than the left kind of balance things out and that gives me um, you know nice weight distribution in the back of the bike 
The other thing I carry is one of these SW Motec tent bags. It's just a, like a canvas bag. It's water resistant. It's not waterproof. But what I like about this, my camping gear fits in here really nice. My tent goes right in there. I actually throw my hatchet in there so when I get to a campsite I just got to pop this bag off and I can set my tent up without touching anything else on the bike. The other thing I carry which is a definite luxury item is a collapsible chair. These things are really nice when you're my age and you've been riding all day and you're in a campsite and you don't want to sit on the ground or you don't want to pull a pannier off your bike to sit on. That just goes right in that bag as well. This thing zips up, and like I said, I get to a campsite, unsnap this, take it off, and I can get my tent set up in no time. The other thing I take is one of these uh, SW Motec dry bags. This is the 350 liter size. Nice, waterproof, rugged bag. Uh, I can put a bunch of stuff in here. This is my sleeping pad. This is wider than your normal sleeping pad. This is from REI. It's self-inflating, so when you throw it in your tent, you open a little valve and it fills up with air. I like it a little wider because I found with the narrow sleeping pads, I was just rolling off of them during the night. I needed a little more room, so it fit in that dry bag. So I bought it. I've been using it for years. I really like it. I've got a Marmot sleeping bag. This is good for, uh, you know, 40 degrees F, but... I don't use it in the winter, it's good in the summer, spring, even in the fall I've used it. It's, it's compact and it's warm. I carry just a frog tog rain jacket just for around the camp. This is my sleeping pillow. Folds up nice and small. And it's, uh, again, when you're in a tent at night, you've been riding all day, you've got a comfortable thing to sleep on, a comfortable pillow, you'll get a good night's rest. I also carry, I have a small backpack. That rolls up really tight. Lots of time when I get to places, you know, I might want to go for a day hike, get off the bike for a day, go see some things. It's nice to have a backpack to carry stuff in. It's nice too uh, when we're camping. Lots of times you want to hike down to the water's edge to have a cigar and some drinks and, you know, you can throw your chair in here, your alcohol, all your stuff. It's, uh, it's just good. It doesn't take up a lot of room and I like to have it. I bring a couple of golf discs just so, uh, you know, at night or sometime during the day to have some competition with my traveling partner, just something else I can be better than him at. And then this is a real luxury item. In addition to my climb latitude jacket and pants, which are fantastic. They got a lot of padding in them. They're really weather resistant. They're really good. But... The jacket can also get really hot if you're in really hot places. So I also bring, I have a Klein mesh jacket. And this is good when the temperatures start to get into the 80s. It's just, you know, it's a lot better than having that latitude jacket on. This is kind of a, again, this is a luxury item. They're not cheap, but I deserve it. I like to leave home with my top case pretty empty. The only thing I try and have in there is one of these collapsible coolers. Uh, this comes in handy during the day for you know keeping your water and your juices and things like that cold. It doesn't take up a lot of room. It, I use this really kind of to live out of from day to day. You know, I carry my water, my snacks, my food. Uh, lots of times you make that last stop at a store before you hit the campground and grab whatever you're going to eat for the night load it up with beers, maybe get some bourbon, and it's just nice to have one spot that gives you a lot of room to throw things in and out of. I carry a little extra stuff in other places to leave me room here to keep this empty. On the back of my bike, I've got this Alt-Rider uh, rack for the top case, and it's got a nice spot underneath where inside there I have a case that I keep my 
uh, cycle pump in case I get a flat tire and my plugs for the tubeless tires. It's a good spot because I hopefully never have to go in there. They're out of the way. I've got it kind of bolted in, but it's there if I need it, and I don't have to muck around with it being in any of my cases or being in the way anywhere else. I use these rock strap uh, for tie downs. These are work really well. I've got this Altrider pillion seat cover they call here. The back seat comes off on the Tenere, and I got this. It gives me a nice flat, lightweight aluminum surface for mounting things too. So I can take that dry bag. Throw that on there. And these straps will come over. And as you can see that holds that down there nice and tight. You do that on both sides. That isn't going anywhere and it's nice and tight. You don't have to worry about it coming off. I use a couple of other rock straps for the tank bag. This tank bag has nice eyelets that you can feed the strap through. Once that's on there on both sides, that isn't going anywhere. So both the dry bag and the tent bag are strapped to that pillion seat cover. It's good and solid. They, they both rest up against the top case, which is locked in, so nothing's going anywhere. You can, and finally, that tank bag locks right on there, nice and tight. It's not going anywhere, and she's loaded up. So that's everything. I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go. We leave the day after tomorrow, which will be May 12th. We're praying for good weather. Although I know, you know, in two weeks, two weeks on the road, you're going to catch some rain, but we're prepared for that. I'm sure we'll have some great adventure. I'm sure we'll meet some great people, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of laughs along the way. So I'll try and make some videos of the trip. Hopefully there's something interesting for everybody to watch. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And comments are always welcome. Thanks again.